that's when I started keeping my, my archives, was right at that time. July 1990, the news would come on, and if it was about ACT UP or anything that was going on in Montreal, gay or AIDS, press record, and I knew that, oh, good. <laughs> I have my uh, little archive going on here. And um, so Michael Hendricks, when he found out I was doing this, he said, oh, well, you should be the head of the media committee. Like, no, no one else is doing that. Yeah. So what I did was I made, um, I would scan newspapers, magazines every week and photocopy mm -hmm. uh, whatever I would find and give it out at the meetings on Wednesday night so people would hear what was the latest going on in the world of AIDS, uh, not just in Montreal, but internationally, particularly treatment and data. Uh, we had, I guess, our own treatment and data committee, but um, but I would say that ACT UP Montreal really looked, looked everybody looked up to the mothership uh, ACT UP uh, New York because they really did start the ACT UP movement, but I think by 1991, there probably were 80 chapters, maybe worldwide. Yeah. Uh, we had um, we had ACT UP Paris contact us and say they're going to be in Montreal, and they arrive at the meeting with their ACT UP Paris T-shirts, and it's like a fraternity.